what is up everybody it is your boy fry thank you once again for tuning in smash that like button if you have not subscribed to the channel for more mixing tips and that kind of thing so yeah pretty much today i'm gonna be showing you how to get your vocals more upfront more punchy sounding um, and just to get that extra bit of you know that extra 10 percent that you might be lacking in your vocal mix i'm gonna show you a trick and technique um, that you can apply to pretty much anything but i'm gonna show you how to do it with vocals so the technique we're gonna be utilizing today is called parallel compression all right now parallel compression basically means um, if you have all your vocals sent to one channel, right? So I've got all my main vocals. Uh, definitely check out how to group vocals. I can kind of show you quickly all of my ad libs, right? And all of my main vocals go to this um, channel four right here, right? I send them towards that channel. If you look in the bottom um, of the mixer, you can see all of the main vocal, the, the double, the ad lib, and ad lib two go to this uh, vocal chain channel, right? So we group our vocal first, and then what we can do is we can actually send all of those vocals to a our aux track right so we've got our buses and our aux which are aux tracks which essentially are the same thing sends i guess um but what that means is we basically parallel our vocal to a different channel now why would we want to do that so what we do um or why we do that is to get extra volume and a bit more extra juice out of the main vocal so if you see me play this vocal right now you'll see that um what's happening with this vo main vocal is also happening on this channel basically so just pay attention to that so just watch these two channels yeah. Tell them that I got this, so you know I got it Run into the money, yeah, until I caught the profit Blast off like a rocket, shorty say she's got it Woke up early morning cause I got a check So yeah, if you just look at this channel 16, 17 We've got our main vocals on that channel Yeah, tell them that I got this, so you know I got it Run into the money, yeah, until I caught the profit Blast off and then if I mute them, you can kind of hear the vocal get a bit weaker. So yeah, pretty much that's all we're doing now. First off, right, uh, we need one channel where we're going to do parallel compression. Easy, all right. Uh, basically, all that is is a fruity compressor that we, you can have this preset link in the description um, and basically all I do is a bit of compression on the vocal itself and then we've got a different channel which is a doubler right so the doubler basically provides a nice bit of spread for the vocal as you can see it says spread right there and then the parallel compression just adds a bit more volume and, and, and kind of uh, body to the vocal really easy you know what I mean simple and sweet and as you can see when I lift both you know so I'll lift this one again and I'll lift the volume on this one as well and you can hear this one adds more stereo depth it kind of washes it away if it gets too loud and then this one just completely overrides the beat because now the vocal is pretty much doubled um, but because we're compressing it a little bit we can kind of get that doubling sounding good so I'll just do that again so yeah that's pretty much the trick right there so if you wanted to see how i do it uh, from scratch let's just do that in this blank area right here right so let's just say we had a main vocal right and then we wanted to let's just say let's turn these four channels into uh sins right so we got these channels right here and then let's call this one compress right parallel compress and then we can call this one spread all we would do is you know in fl studio we would just left click left click all right and there we go now we can actually turn those down play our main vocal and then kind of just blend it in and that's really all you want to do so boom hopefully you enjoy that trick try it out um try it out on your instrumental try it out on um you know synths and, and drums and all those kinds of things and you can realize that you don't have to do too much on the original track uh, to get really nice punchy up up front sounding vocals or kicks or whatever it is so hopefully you enjoyed the video um you know you can apply this to anything as i said smash that like button i'll check out in the next video peace out